Hi, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where this geeky grandpa talks tech, tech reviews, tech solutions, and all kinds of tech. Today, I want to talk to you about a problem that I've been having, <clears throat> and you may have had, is that what happens is when you try to connect three USB cameras to your computer, and one of them will shut down, one of them won't work, you'll have all kinds of issues. And you may have experienced this in OBS or any other operating system. Today, I'm going to give you an explanation of what it is, how to fix it, and what to do with it. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with you. Now, most of us have been around a while, have experienced with the older computers, they each of the ports and the computer had a specific one. There was the printer port, there was the connection for this, there was the connection for the mouse, there was the connection for everything else. And later on, as we developed, they started centralizing into one universal bus called the USB. And there have been several revision and speed enhancements that have occurred, which known as the USB 1, 2, 3, 3.1, 3.2. .3 and we all know all of this. But as all of these devices began to connect to USB, the problem was, one, a lot of computers didn't have enough USB ports to connect to all of the things that we have. And the other thing is, as we started connecting multiple devices, we started having issues. Um, and of course, I have an example here on the screen of some of the USB hubs that are out there. And you know, you obviously you can tell if it's 2.0, it's white. If it's if it's 3.0, it's blue. And if it's the latest one, they've come up with a blue and a yellow color, uh, kind of that kind of use. And they have controllers on them. So whether or not you're having power, you're, you're powered or not powered, uh, they have switches on them. So that is an early explanation of, of course, the USB. Now the situation occurs, of course, is that the USB ports in your computer is driven by a controller. Each of the ports in the back of your computer has a controller or chip that basically allows each USB socket to have connection to the computer. And it transmits that data at approximately a has a maximum transmission data of about a thousand uh, data bytes. But the problem occurs is as this happening, as this happens, a lot of the devices that are out there today are at the maximum what was known as bandwidth, especially USB uh, cameras. As they've developed higher resolution, um, you know, 60 frames per second and such like that, they take up a lot of bandwidth. And the problem that occurs later on is now if you want to connect more than one USB webcam to your computer, um, you'll sometimes have problems uh, if you're connecting to the same controller. And that is one of the great problems that I have uh, or have had. And that's, I'm going to give you some solutions to that problem. Uh, one of the things, of course, you have to look in your computers uh, when you go into devices, you can see that you have, if you have more than one USB controller, most computers have two controllers. One is for the USB 2.0. One is for the USB 3.0. Some of them have multiple so uh, USB 3.0s and will have two controllers. Some of that, con the most controllers will be different, let's say in the front plugins of your desktop case. Unfortunately, laptops are very, very limited, which gives you a major problem. Now, one of the things, of course, that people have done to uh, allow, get themselves more sockets, as we've discussed, is hubs. But the problem with hubs is they in themselves have a controller chip in them and those controller chips prevent all of them talking to the computer at the same time so initially they act like a slight a switch switching from one usb device to another during that process if you connect a camera into that usb hub and then try to connect another camera into the same hub you'll notice that one camera won't work or if you're connecting it into a hub and then in another device into it, into directly into the computer, you'll also know the same thing that one of the USB devices will stop working. Uh, you probably, if you're an OBS user, you probably know this, but all of a sudden you have a black screen and the, the system is knows that it's there, 
but it will not display the image. And the, all the other half of it is it simply will freeze on you. So how do you get around some of the situations? Well, first thing, if you're using a USB webcam, you, you need not to you you can't plug that USB webcam into a hub, into one of those USB hubs, splitters that, that can be called also. You have to have them all connected directly to the computer. Uh, the situation, of course, is what do you do when you're using the same controller and it won't let you? Well, one solution to that, of course, is to add, if you have a desktop case, a USB extender card. Now, what these extender cards do is they have their own chip on them. And those chips go in and they allow you to use the computer uh, and connect more USB sockets. But more importantly, they are going to gate through the, uh, the, P the PCIe socket in your motherboard out to that. Now, that's a great thing. Now, they come in many configurations, as I've said. One of the configuration that you make, as you'll comment, is to be two or four or even up to seven I've seen. And some of them even have SATA connectors in the back where you'll be able to, using the that board actually be able to add another hard drive inside your case. It's especially helpful if you only have four SATA connectors or if you have, um, you know, something like that where you want to expand that. Some of them even allow you to connect a one of the small uh, M2 boards to them. This is greatly really helpful. That's what I ended up doing. I ended up adding a second board, which allowed me now to have more than one controller at the same time so when i but i had to be very careful where i plugged my you were had to plug in my web cameras so that each one was on its own controller now the other thing that might help if you have, if you don't have a socket where you'd be able to expand on your um your computer another pci socket or something like that sometimes what you can do to on the webcams is you can lower the resolution or the frame rate you know, some compute some of these webcams can do up to 60 frames per second, some of them 30. Some of them, you know, the high they're very high resolution. By lowering the frame rate and lowering the resolution, you sometimes then will be able to connect more than one webcam to your computer. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope this information has been helpful for you. This is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out. Give us a please give us a subscribe and a like. Hit the little bell so the next time i'm on i can give you share more information like this for you um it does take a little time to do some work and we're looking to hit a thousand subscribers so please hit that subscribe button until next time you have a great day